There's a hum of students' voices during the lunch in the Oakland Center as Oakland University student Rebecca Moore sits down to discuss her plans to graduate as a fifth-year senior. Her situation shows how the economy greatly affects schools like Oakland University. I can't take full credits just because I'm working to try to cover like my home, my house and like schooling and stuff. According to the Office of Institutional Research and Assessment, in 2009 about 33 percent of students were older than 23 years old. This means about one-third of Oakland University students were non-traditional, either going back to school or taking longer to graduate. I mean everything is expensive, everything costs money. Fifth year senior Charles Retz agrees. If you don't get enough financial aid then you can't go to school full-time and then you can't graduate as quickly as if you had full tuition paid. Students like Moore and Retz do not graduate in four years because of their economic situation. Both students work to pay for school and off-campus housing. Most of my friends that went away to school that are living at school have graduated in the four-year mark. I think it's just because of like the less distractions and they take out the financial aid and they don't necessarily have like full-time jobs. According to the University of Michigan, about 75% of their students graduated within four years. At OU, only 42% graduate within six years of beginning of their degree. Faculty at the Office of Institutional Research and Assessment say that it is difficult to tell whether the graduation rate is directly affected by the country's economics. Many other factors could contribute to a later graduation date, such as if a student has a minor or double major, the amount of financial aid a student receives, or the amount of credit hours the student takes. Financial aid can only afford 12 credits a semester, so it puts a limit on how quickly you can get done. OU is attempting to help their students become more focused on their graduation efforts. A new initiative called Focus on the Finish Line has been added as part of the Advising Resource Center's Career Cycle Module. Teachers will become more informed through syllabus setup, classroom activities, and modules on how to use OU's resources, such as SAIL and Moodle. Oakland University is working on improving their graduation rates, but Moore thinks that students can affect this too. It's a lot of, about the individual, too, like how motivated they are to graduate on time. Students can take part in earning a degree faster by following these tips from the Advising Resource Center. Talk to an advisor at least once a year or before you register for classes and take part in the new student orientation program. The Advising Resource Center also holds workshops with topics from choosing your major to finding a career. The next workshop is Wednesday, November 30th, titled, What Can I Do With This Major? You can find these workshops and access to your advisors online at www.oakland.edu backslash advising.